This is the energy vibration reading for the second week of June. The week begins from the 9th until the 15th. This week is the energy of water and the zodiac energy of also of water, your air sign. So it's an emotional wake for you guys. Okay, let's see what we have. Thank you for being here. Thank you for returning. Please remember to listen to the sun, moon, and rising sign. Okay, let's see what we have for you, Librans. On Monday, we have the Nine of Cups. Your wishes and dreams are coming true with your materialistic things. Then um, we have the energy of the Queen of Wands. Some of you are going to be having situations to deal with the Queen of Wands. She could be bringing in some money. The energy of the number nine is here. I'm seeing a conflict. Your wishes and dreams are coming true, but there is a conflict with um, someone. There's a lot of... Um, there's a lot of uh, um, um, fire sign people that you have to deal with, okay? So you Librans, you need to look out for this. You have the energy of the Ten of Wands in reverse, okay? The energy of the Ten of Wands is, is that whatever burdens and burdensome situation you were carrying in this week, you're releasing these burdens. It is now in the reverse form so this is uh, really good let's look at your week because i have really been asking any questions um for your week what i'm saying basically that is happening in your week is that um your wishes and dream over a situation that has to do with um your materialistic needs so, but it's not only your materialistic needs but it can be with a Taurus, someone who is a Capricorn, I mean, okay, so some of you could be um, realizing that your financial balance is going to be coming back in your life. Some of you are dealing with a Capricorn or a someone who is an, uh, an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius, okay? So for the ladies, um, or it could be um, that your mom is a, is a Capricorn or your mom is an Aries person. Now, it's all about the center. It's all about the family. It could be a sister. And this uh, sister is an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius. Some of you could be having conflicts with your sister. But as I look at the energy in this week, it's a lot of people. It's a lot of people. Whatever is happening in this week, it, is, it has to do with. Um, because the number nine energy is here. So it's the completion of something. So some of you are going to have happiness coming in with your materialistic world, okay? Some of you are going to be having situations with your sister or your mom. And whatever the conflicts is, some of you have had conflicts with a young lady. This could be your um, daughter-in-law of that sort of a thing. And she is an Aquarius Gemini or Libra. But there is going to be a new start. This new start is coming in because whatever it was it was all about money there is a situation that was playing that is all about money the weekend is that this weekend friday there is going to be a conflict some of you are going to be having a conflict with your sister um with your sister-in-law with your um, um daughter that is an aries leo or a, a sagittarius but this thing is going to be ending because on Sunday there is going to be a new start coming in. And this new start is going to be bringing an end to what burdens some situations that you guys have been carrying. Because I'm seeing that a lot of you guys have been carrying some burdensome situation that has to do with either your sister, your mom, or your, or your grandmom. It could be your grandmom. But... Whatever the situation is, it's as if you are dealing with your daughter-in-law. Some of you are dealing with your daughter-in-law. Your daughter-in-law is connected with someone who is a, um, a Capricorn. And 
someone who is an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius and these two ladies could be sisters and um, she is your daughter-in-law and uh, um, it's as if they are coaching her as to what to do you know it's as if some of you are living with this young lady and it's not your immediate family and her her family is coaching her as to how she should go and and and, and do things for some of you um who needs financial help um, i'm seeing a sister or a mother coming in with financial help that is going to be helping you i'm seeing the energy of the nine of pentacles that someone who is an aries or a leo or a sagittarius is going to be coming in to help you out of a financial situation i'm seeing a wonderful new uh, start in some of you um, financial situation some of you could be connecting with a taurus a virgo or a capricorn businessman who is going to be helping you and trying to help you to give you a new start and this is going to be positive this new start is going to bring financial stability in your world and this is going to be good so a congratulations what else am i seeing is that some of you is as if something good happened for you it's as if um out of the blue something good happened uh, to you with your materialistic world it's as if unexpected help or materialistic money or support or something happened that brings in financial abundance and it's as if you're you're sharing house with your daughter-in-law and it's as if uh, you know she wants to tell you now you have to pay this now you have to pay that and that sort of a thing she wasn't being nice to you in the beginning and now you are um you know receiving this wonderful positive situation and now she expects you to like give up or give more in the house that sort of a thing is coming in I haven't been asking any question lately, but because the, the um, informations were coming out so clearly, but I'm guided um, by my angels. So ask some questions about this because I'm seeing um, situations here that I need to find out. So why are these situation? Who are these people and how does it affects you? Okay. So we have the nine of cups with the Empress. So that means um, there is something that you are wishing and hoping for that is about to come out for you. So yes, you have the nine of um, pentacles. So obviously it's money. So if you guys were in a situation, money is going to be coming out for you. And this is what I said before. I even took out the question cards to ask what exactly is it is as if um, something a lucky break came in where you have received some money and your um, whoever you're sharing with or so your family wants to tell you how to deal with it okay let's look what is the energy of the Empress and the Queen of Wands what is the energy of the Empress and the Queen of Wands because it's as if this Queen of Wands is going to make things happen for you and for some of you men some of you men uh, over the age of 40 could be connecting with someone who is a, a, um, a Capricorn or someone who is an Aries Leo or a Sagittarian okay so whoever this person is it's all about money you are trying um, it's as if you have to pay this person money for you men now the other energy the Capricorns keep on coming up in the readings the Capricorn um, um, there is um, a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo, and she is going to um, bring forth financial balance in your life. If you're a lady and you have a relationship with a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo, they're going to be, um, and it's especially if it's a Capricorn, they're going to be bringing financial stability in your life. Let's see what else is happening. Um, there is a situation of a conflict that you have been having with either your daughter that is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius and you're deciding to leave the situation behind. So again, it could be you have been or your daughter-in-law have been um, living with you for some times and uh, 
um, now you have received financial um, stability and you're planning on moving away and it's as if she wants to bring the rain down on you the conflict the conflict the conflict is over because there is going to be a new start it's as if you're walking away from the situation because you're thinking that the situation has no um, bearings for me anymore and you're walking away from a situation it is so strange and why i say this reading is strange is because you guys have so many energies that came out for you um not all the time that this happened but sometimes obviously there is a message that is supposed to be coming out so i'm seeing some of you men who are married to an um some of you men who are uh, who over the age of 40 that is married to um an Aries Leo or Sagittarius um it's as if you're ending this relationship it's as if you're moving away from this burden it was a burden to some relationship and you're ending it and you're moving away now some of you who has to deal with a daughter or a younger person this this woman whoever she is is as if she's been um you know it's as if someone is is pushing her to have this conflicts with you okay so be aware of this now for a lot of you there is an end coming to a situation this end is bringing happiness and joy your wishes some of you are going to be receiving money uh, twice because the nine of pentacles came out twice so a lot of you ladies out there is going to be receiving money and 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 a new start so um it could be um a taurus Virgo, or a capricorn person that is going to be coming in and um supporting you and bringing you this financial stability in your world which is is um very good because it's going to bring you a new start it's as if you were staying with family and you were having problems with this young lady who is an aries leo or sagittarius and this is going to be hand whatever the conflicts is it's going to be over okay the power of prior comes out for you guys the power of prior so what this is saying is that give this situation to god for uplifting and um healing and be open to the miracles heaven unlimited resources love and answers are awaiting your prayers be sure to act upon the divine guidance god gives you to um, respond to priors so priors obviously some of you have been praying for an healing for a conflict that has been going on for a very long time and this um the prayers has been answered and this conflict is about to over please like share these videos please thumbs up um let us know um how you feel about this uh, laying out because i think seeing my face is different than seeing the cards i think seeing the cards is a much very positive way Whoever it is out there who's having a situation with your daughter that is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius, forgiveness is the key. It doesn't have to be your daughter. It could be someone that your your son is um, um, having a relationship with. But um, whoever this person is, she's getting information from outside and they are telling her what to do. This is why there is so much conflicts. It's as if... Um, you know someone from outside is pushing her to do whatever she's doing so be aware of this um, and um, understand what is happening for you here and it will be okay so ladies and gentlemen please like share this video namaste